Let's now talk about what is the most powerful and the most important function in all of WordPress, and that is the WordPress loop. This is the function responsible for displaying all the content of your posts, your pages, your custom post types, and so on and so forth. So without this function, well, your WordPress website will basically be non-existent. So it is very important to understand how the WordPress loop works and also how you can customize the loop to serve you because it is a very, very powerful function. Now, I want to first of all show you the standard way of writing this function. There are different ways how you can write this function, how you can write the loop, but the standard way is what we have over here. Okay, we have if in brackets have posts and then while have posts, the posts. Now the question right now is what does this mean? What exactly is happening over here? I'm going to try and break it down to you in as simple of a, of a manner as I possibly can, okay, because I know it can be a little bit complicated. First things first is the function right over here where we have if and then in brackets have underscore posts. What's happening here is WordPress is checking, first of all, to see if there are any posts to display. That is the very first criteria that needs to be satisfied. You can't display contents of a post if you have no posts in the first place, right? So it first of all checks to see if we have posts. And now over here we have the second criteria saying while have posts. So we've checked to see if we have a post and oh, okay, we do have a post, right? Now, while we do have that post, display the contents of the post. That's what the third uh, sub function over here is doing. It's simply saying, okay, right now, since we have posts and as long as we continue to have posts, display the content of that post. That's basically what this line of code is saying. Let's take a look at some real life examples. I'm going to bring in Notepad, of course, as always. <laughs> and I'm going to open up index.php. Now, right over here, you can see start the loop. We now have, actually, it started over here where we have if have posts and then we had some text. And now down over here, we do have while have posts, the post. This is a loop walking over here. And let me just say something right now. It is very, very important that your index.php is linked to your WordPress loop. The WordPress loop must be linked to your index.php one way or the other. You can either have the loop directly inside of the index.php or you can have the loop in another template file, but make sure that template file is called from the index.php. Very, very important. All right. We'll talk more about this a bit later, of course. But you can see right now that in index.php, we do have the loop. Bear in mind, too, that we can have the loop in other places as well, not just the index.php. Come over here to page.php. In here again, you can see we have the loop over here as well. So we can have the loop in several uh, different template files. And also keep in mind that the loop is responsible for displaying contents of our pages as well, not just posts. You use the loop for your posts, for your pages. And if you also wanted to create custom post types, you would also use the WordPress loop as well. So. Join me in the next class where we will now take a closer look at how WordPress uses the loop to display contents of our posts using something called the template tags.